I'd like to look now at urinary frequency. Many men in their 50s and 60s find they have to uh, go to the toilet urinary wise maybe three or four times a night. Now that is indicative of a inflamed prostate. Meet Dr. Barbara O'Neill, a renowned expert in natural health and wellness. With decades of experience and a deep understanding of holistic medicine, Dr. O'Neill offers practical advice and remedies to improve quality of life and manage common health issues. Her approach blends traditional wisdom with modern science, providing valuable guidance for those seeking natural solutions to their health concerns. In this video, Dr. Barbara O'Neill explores the often troublesome issue of urinary frequency, particularly in men over 50. She delves into the potential causes, such as an inflamed prostate, and offers natural remedies to alleviate this discomfort. From herbal solutions like salt pimento and stinging nettle to dietary adjustments for managing zinc levels, Dr. O'Neill provides a comprehensive guide to addressing this common problem. So watch the video till the end, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Now, let's get started. An inflamed prostate can be, can be helped by a herb called sol pimento. Sol pimento reduces inflammation of the prostate gland. Also, stinging nettle, stinging nettle tea can be drunk. Number one, saw palmetto. Dr. Barbara O'Neill highlights saw palmetto as a valuable natural remedy for managing enlarged prostate symptoms based on its potential to support prostate health. She explains that saw palmetto, derived from the berries of the Saranoa repens plant, may help alleviate symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, by inhibiting the enzyme that converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone, DHT, a hormone associated with prostate enlargement. Additionally, saw palmetto's anti-inflammatory properties can contribute to reducing prostate swelling and improving urinary function. Dr. O'Neill incorporates this herb into a broader holistic approach, emphasizing its role alongside dietary and lifestyle changes for optimal prostate health. Number two, stinging nettle. A Dr. Barbara O'Neill also advocates for the use of stinging nettle tea as a natural remedy for managing symptoms of an enlarged prostate, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. According to her teachings, stinging nettle contains compounds that may help reduce inflammation and support overall prostate health. For instance, research published in the journal Phytotherapy Research has demonstrated that stinging nettle extract can help alleviate lower urinary tract symptoms associated with benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, by reducing inflammation and improving urinary flow. The herb is thought to alleviate urinary symptoms associated with BPH by promoting better urinary flow and reducing prostate swelling. Dr. O'Neill incorporates stinging nettle tea into a holistic approach to prostate health, which includes dietary adjustments and lifestyle changes to provide a comprehensive strategy for managing the condition and improving well-being. What about if a young man is, is finding this uh, urinary uh, frequency? It could be uh, an irritation, and the most common irritation is the inflammation of the prostate. Now, what can cause inflammation in the prostate is lack of zinc. Now, let's talk about something that might be affecting younger guys, frequent trips to the bathroom. It's not just an old man problem. For some young men, this could actually be linked to inflammation in the prostate. Now, here's an interesting bit. Zinc might be a key player here. Think of zinc as a superhero for your prostate. It helps keep things running smoothly and even plays a role in managing testosterone levels. So if a guy's running low on zinc, it could potentially lead to some prostate issues and more bathroom breaks than usual. Here's where it gets a bit personal. Some activities, especially frequent ejaculation, can actually use up quite a bit of zinc, whether it's through partnered activities, solo sessions, or watching adult content, each time takes a little zinc with it. If this happens a lot without replenishing zinc levels, it might contribute to throwing those testosterone levels out of whack. Boosting your zinc levels. It's easier than you might think. According to Dr. O'Neill, if you're looking to up your zinc intake, there are a couple of tasty routes you can take. First off, you could go for zinc supplements. Just follow the dosage instructions on the bottle and you're good to go. But if you prefer getting your nutrients from food, and who doesn't love a good snack, there are plenty of zinc-rich options to munch on. Seeds are your friends here. 
pumpkin, sesame, and sunflower seeds are all packed with zinc. They're great for snacking or sprinkling on salads, and if you're a grain fan, you're in luck. Whole grains like millet, brown rice, and quinoa are zinc superstars, especially when you cook them nice and slow. This gentle cooking method helps unlock more of that precious zinc. Here's a fun fact. Over in Germany, they've been onto something with their traditional sourdough bread. The way it's made through a special culturing process actually breaks down the gluten and makes the zinc more available for your body to absorb. Pretty cool, right? So whether you're popping supplements, munching on seeds, or enjoying a slice of sourdough, you've got plenty of tasty ways to give your zinc levels a boost. Your body, and maybe your taste buds, will thank you. I also advise people with urinary frequency not to drink a whole lot of water at once. So it is better to drink little by little by little. I'm a little bit thirsty, so I'll give you an illustration. Now, let's talk about another fact. Instead of gulping down your water all at once, try sipping it throughout the day. Think of it like nibbling on your favorite snack. You wouldn't eat the whole bag in one go, right? Same idea with water. Let's say you've got a big 850 milliliters water bottle. Instead of downing it like you're in a drinking contest, take little sips here and there. Your body will thank you, and you might find yourself making fewer mad dashes to the loo. Now, here's a cool tip that might sound a bit odd at first. Try adding a tiny bit of special salt to your water. We're talking about a crystal of Celtic or Himalayan salt, about the size of a sesame seed. These aren't your average table salts. They're packed with tons of minerals that can actually help your body absorb water better. It's like giving your cells a little hydration boost. By addressing these factors holistically, you can alleviate the discomfort of frequent urination and support overall prostate health. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tips on maintaining optimal health. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. I'm here to help. Until next time, take care and stay well.